Hi everybody, this is Miss Lisa and I work for the Raider Valley YMCA and today we're going to be making sheet magnifying glasses, okay? And we're going to do some hunting for those shapes. For the magnifying um, shape glasses, um, we're going to use some type of plastic. I'm going to use this unused um, color and clear folders that I don't use. That's for the inside. And you can use a measuring tool, but because it's just, um, it's about shapes, you can use any type of um, stencil that you can find if you don't want to measure. I'm going to use this um, shapes, shape circles for toys for my baby, and I'm going to trace them around just around and then I'll show you what we're going to do in the middle. Um, some glue. We're going to use some scissors and I am going to use uh, a manila folder for the outside just because it's harder and I don't have cardstock but if you have cardstock you can use that um, but if you want also use um, regular paper that's fine too. So the first step Oh, and you need a pencil, write a new pencil, okay? So the first step, it's as follows. So the first step is to trace. So I'm gonna trace this um, and this um, circle just on the, end, on the outside. Um, let me show you, bear with me. And it does not have to be perfect. You want to do that too because you need um, one from the front and one from the back. And if you're having your child do it, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, so that is that. I'm going to do that once again. Um, and since they're magnifying glasses, you want to um, make a handle. So I'm just going to make one handle here. And it has to be the same. Okay. And then we're going to remove this. Now on the inside, you want to make a circle too since the shape, the outer shape is a circle. You don't want it to be really thin. Since you are gluing the clear plastic in the middle, so you want to leave um, some room to put some glue. So I'm just going to do about an inch. And like I said, you can use a measuring tool for this if you want to. You can just make a circle in the middle. And this is easier. Um, sometimes kids uh, get really frustrated because they, they have a hard time um, measuring still. You can just have them do another circle in the middle and um, be fine with that. So we're just going to cut around, okay, and then we'll cut the circle for the middle, okay? So let's cut. So now I have my two magnifying glasses, my circle ones. Um, you could cut the inside with the... Um, with the blade or something sharp like a knife um, but I don't I personally don't like to do that I usually just try to fold this a little bit to show you without bending it making a making like a, like a square or a triangle cutting it Let's see. and then you have a hole and then you just cut around it You want to make sure you um, keep the circle inside um, as it is like, shape-wise because you're going to need that um, for the inside, like the clear plastic one. So I have my clear thing 
And once you're done with both, I'm gonna cut this one too, but once you're done with the um, with cutting them, you wanna trace the inside around it. And then um, trace it um, a little bit bigger, like maybe um, say half an inch around it. You because you want it to be a little bit bigger than the one than the center, so it can be glued to the magnifying glass. What I mean by that is, let's make sure you see how I did it. You want to cut that or trace it. You only want to do one of this, one circle for this. Then you're going to cut it. Okay. So I'm going to cut this around and I'll show you the next step. So I cut the circle and I have my two pieces. The next thing that we want to do, I'll show you. You want to do it because it has to be glued like I said. So we want to um, have some glue around this. All over. Because we want to attach the other part on top too. Place this, and then you want to put the other one. Right. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you really want to do this perfect, you can use a measuring tool and it will help with measuring skills. But right now, we're just focusing on shapes. And it could be a color because you can do. Like, like um, I'm doing green on the inside, but like I said, we're just gonna look focus right now on the on the shape, and it's a magnifying um, circular magnifying glass. Okay, we're gonna do a um, a triangular one next, and the same thing. We're going to measure that. I'm going to use my um, my triangle. I'm going to trace two of those. And this does not have to be perfect. Okay, so there's that. And I am going to use um, this almost similar um, shape to grab the magnifying glass. The next thing is to do. Um, the inside and like I say you want it maybe like an inch in the inside we're gonna cut around it and then the inside like I said you can use a, a knife um, to do to cut it but I'll just like to fold it and cut the inside like it did for the um, circle one and you want to make sure you save that so we can trace that onto the inside clear um, material okay so why don't we do that let's cut the outside so we have our two triangular um, magnifying glasses cut out and I have the inside so like I said we're gonna use the inside to trace I'm going to use the blue. So I'm going to trace this only once. And like I say, you want to um, not trace the actual um, shape, but you want to trace maybe um, half an inch or so um, from the shape. Let me show that you have um, enough plastic to tape for the center. 
and then cut it. So let's cut that out. So we have the magnifying glass and then we're going to glue this onto that and then the top one on top and we'll have a triangular uh, magnifying glass so why don't we do that and if the glue goes through like, like on the outside it's, it should be fine because it will dry regular glue you press on that and then you will have your um, triangular magnif magnifying glass now you see this edges you can actually um, it, they're not aligning up um, the same you can actually cut it and make it look more um, nicer like I am uh, right now So, you do the same thing with the other magnifying glass. So you have a circular one and you have a, a triangular one. Okay. You can put um, a ring here so you can actually keep them all together. All right. I've made um, a rectangular one, different with a, um, a clear plastic one in the middle and then there's uh, the, the outside, it's orange. I put rectangle, you can actually write the shape name on it. Okay. And you know what I found out was really cool? If you put them, and the light you can actually see them change. This is why I like this um, this project because you can see with different kinds of um, inside plastic um, colors. You can see um, the different the difference and then the blend of colors. We are going to use our magnifying glass. Um, I said I had, I have placed um, several items um, for us to use our magnifying glasses, um, but you can use the magnifying glasses to, um, to around the house, your house, um, the classroom or wherever you are. Um, and have a fun game with your child um, and searching for um, those shapes. So using a rectangular, um, we could say that, hmm, this remote control toy has a similar shape to a rectangular, rectangle. Same with this block. The block is a rectangle shape. Let's use our triangle magnifying glass. Hmm. Does not fit, but this one does. It looks like a triangle and it's a triangular shape toy. Okay. With a magnifying glass that is circular, you can say that this ball is round. Same with this um, container. 
And the top of this candle jar is circular to circle shape. Hmm, I wonder what this photo frame or the picture what shape it is. So let's see. Maybe it's a rectangle. And so on. So you can go around, like I said, uh, and find any different shapes. And your kids will love doing this activity. I hope you enjoy it. See each other next time.